like, comment, subscribe for more BMW E36 supercharged videos. This, uh, this is my 1997, started out as a 318 IS. It's still a 318 IS, but um, I dropped an S52 motor, supercharged it. Had this car since the beginning. So I wanna talk about a couple things that I did do to it. The first things I did when, you know, obviously when you're a kid, you lower it, you put rims, you put an exhaust, radio, speakers. Then I got more into the, actually the experience of driving it. So I did more of the drivetrain, the brakes, more suspension work. Uh, we'll start with the front of the car. You can tell it's lowered. It's on H&R Springs. It is on Bilstein Sport Shocks, which is very common for the E36. I have BBS S52 or BBS uh, Style 52. Style 52 wheels. Um, Hella projector headlamps, they're glass. Glass fog lights. This is the M3 bumper. Um, sway bars in the front and rear of the car really tightened it up a lot I put a X brace or they call it a cross brace in the front which substantially helped with the body roll really there's not much more suspension work uh, in the rear I have adjustable control arms um, I sway bar in the rear and uh, I think that's it all new bushings obviously it's a 97 anyone who has an E36 it, it is a great car. It starts out handling great. It's low to the ground. And you just have to know with these cars, you really have to upkeep. You can't let it go. If you do decide to purchase one of these cars, whatever amount you do decide to purchase it for, put another two, three thousand dollars $3,000 on just work that you're going to need to do. They really have issues overheating. But uh, it took me a long time to get it like this. And I think I'm finally done. People say that a lot, but uh, I think I am done. There's not much more I can do. So the next section of the video, we'll show you the engine, and uh, we'll take a walk through around the car, look at the inside, and uh, look at some details on uh, the work that I did. Okay, here it is. This is where the magic happens. First thing you guys may notice is how factory it does look, and I really did spend a lot of time, effort, a lot of research on getting all the right trim pieces um, to make it look really just like it came out of the factory floor like this. Remember, I had an M44 engine, a wrenching 140 horsepower. Dropped in the S52. Right now it's dynoing about 350, 355 at the moment. This is a Vortex Supercharger, VF makes it. It's made for this car. Really, really great kit, very reliable. This is a Mishimoto radiator. Really not much room in here. That's it. Get it started up and uh, listen to it. Ah, warm. Okay, keys. keys. Ignition. Can you hold on? It's like, hold on to anything? No, just start it. Don't hold on, to... I'm gonna... Uh, you don't have to do anything, but I'm just going to tell you to give a couple revs. But first, start it and just let it idle. It's yours. No. Where, why are you getting it? It's my mouthpiece. No, it's not, really? Yeah. Start it up. The ultimate driving machine. Oh, the ultimate driving machine.
drive the engine. So later we're gonna talk about the engine and uh, all right, fuck that. Let's just use the first one. <laughs>